everybody, welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. That's right, Wrestling Rampage back with another video. The Three Amigos are back! Uh, we're ready. Uh, what we got today is uh, we got uh, five questions with Wrestling Rampage. That's when you guys, the viewers and subscribers of Wrestling Rampage, send us questions to answer. Um, now, uh, now this is a, uh, this is only a four, uh, question edition, uh, because we did have to take one of the questions out, uh, because we didn't get the question in time for, uh, well, time constraints for No Mercy, uh, which the question was, uh, how do you think the WWE Universe will react to John Cena and Roman Reigns match at No Mercy? We already we had that question out because No Mercy has gone and passed. So this is only going to be four questions. And uh, all the questions are asked by our good New Zealand bro, Waihiki, formerly known as Brita35. Um, he wants to congratulate us for surpassing 600 subs right here on YouTube. and. Uh, uh, he said he always knew and believed that we would uh, do well right here on YouTube. And we want to thank you for that. Thank um, you, by Hickey. Yes. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with the first question. I'm ready. First question is, what are your thoughts on the new crop of wrestling talents WWE has picked up uh, from Impact and Ring of Honor? Is it similar in the 80s when the WWF was... Uh, bringing in talent from the AWA and the Mid South uh, uh, area, etc. Yeah, it's kind of similar. It is kind of sim similar. But you know, Impact, you know, they stole Bobby Roode. If they stole Austin Aries for a little bit, for a little for bit, for a cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm just being honest. It was a cup of coffee. Uh, Eric Young. He's, Roger, doing, he's, he, he's doing way better. Way in better in NXT than he was in NXT. He's done way better in NXT than he's done in his whole fucking career in TNA or Impact Wrestling. Or yes. GFW, whatever the fuck you want to call that promotion. Uh, the Jobber League. Roderick Strong. You know, they stole, you know, fucking a lot of good talent. You know, Chris Hero. You know. So, Mike Cannell, Mike Canellis, Mike Bennett, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, uh, Kyle O'Reilly. They stole a lot of uh, a lot of talent, but here's the thing: they had a choice to not come to the WWE anyway. They had a choice. Yeah, you always have that choice. You have a choice. You can go or not go. They all. And then went. that's the same thing that a lot of the bigger <clears throat> stars in the '80s had too. Yes. You know, they had a choice. You know, Hogan was in the AWA, working for Burn Dentures Ganya. You know, and Hogan won his proper split of the merchandise. Of course he did. He damn right. He split half, motherfucker. He done half the goddamn... That, he made his own goddamn bandanas and shirts. And, and Vern Gagne was going to take the money off for himself because AWA sucks. I'm just being honest. I thought it sucked. I call AWA the all-boring wrestling. I do, because I thought AWA was boring. Uh, that's me. You know, when Hogan went to the WWF, I and mean, let me tell you, everyone followed me. Gene, fucking Bobby Heenan, fucking Jesse Ventura. Like almost everybody went with Hope out of the AWA and went to the WWF. There you know. Well, because uh, when it comes down to it, you know, you're, you, it, it, it's pay scale. And yeah. everybody is at that level of, you know, you're going to get as paid as much as you can in any promotion that you get into. But there's always the WWE. And there's always the thing you already done. Now. Every now, now, what they do with you in the WWE, you know, yes, that's you. up to them. Is, uh, is, uh, fuck you. Uh, well, I wouldn't say everybody got fucked. Well, I mean, there, there are some people that do, but uh, not everybody. You know, look at Bobby Roode. He done everything in, in Impact Wrestling. He won the tag team titles. He won the world title. He won the global force title. He won everything in that goddamn promotion. So, he moved on. There was no challenge. Well, actually, there's no challenge in Impact anyway. Uh, but then, you know, there's also ones that failed also. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of failures. Well, speaking of failures, you guys want to go into the next yeah, let's question? Let's go into the next question. 
Uh, I, I just wanted to say in the question that, that was there, well, things were different back in the old days, too. I mean, I, I mean, as territories would go, they, they would they, they would switch the, their stars to, they would do either way, you know. But, you see, it's not happening here. They're just coming down, WWE is coming down and raping talent and not giving back. To me, I think that's literally wrong, but. It's cutthroat business. Yeah. And nobody knows how to cut a throat. Fucking Vince McMahon, you pretty hat motherfucker. All right, Billy Jack Dees. <laughs> All right. Fuck Vince McMahon. Suck my cock, Vince McMahon. <laughs> Speaking of failures, we're going to go into the next question. Uh, which current WWE talents do you believe are being wasted at this time? And what well, he gave us a little uh, uh, one that comes to mind for him. And I have to agree wholeheartedly. Sammy Zayn. You're 100% right there, Y. Hickey. God, I thought I was the only one who knew that. You're 100% right. Sammy Zayn's probably the fucking one that's underutilized the most. <coughs> Goddamn, every time I see him, he's either jobbing to fucking Aiden English, jobbing to Mike Canellis. I'm surprised he didn't job for fucking Kurt Hawkins. You know, fuck, he jobs to everybody. He jobs to Jenner well, Mahal. He probably would job to, to the hot, hot dog bender. Now, I'll say this. Kurt Hawkins has been on on this, you know, what, 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 100. Oh, he'll break that losing streak if he takes on Sammy's aim. Uh, losing yeah. streak, but you know what? This is the thing. Kurt Hawkins deserves that losing streak. Yeah, Kurt Hawkins <laughs> deserves that losing streak. Sammy Zane don't deserve no losing streak. He's a fucking great talent, you know. And, and here's another thing. I, I have to add to the side of Sammy Zane. There's another one I'm have to add in there. That's a good talent, but he's not un, he's not utilized properly. That's Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, yes. You know, well, Dolph Ziggler. Again, well, it, come on, he's coming out <laughs> as a fucking personality. What is he, Charlie Haas Jr. here? <laughs> yeah, I remember Charlie Haas used to do that. You know, I, I don't like because because Dolph Ziggler's more talented than that. He don't need to fucking be the ultimate warrior or be fucking Bailey or whatever the fuck he's trying Generation to be. Generation X. DX. He don't deserve, he could do his actions in the ring. I know, but then again, that's what he's trying to say. I can get it done in the ring, but you guys... Well, see, we'll, we'll see. You still. guys you guys want elaborate entrances. Well, still, yeah. well, fuck the elaborate entrances. I don't like entrances anyway. And sometimes. You guys want to make me look like a fool. You know, but goddamn, Dolph Ziggler's no. getting treated poorly as well to me. I, I, well, well, then again, at least... At least, at least Dolph, at least Dolph, hang on, yeah. at least, and another thing, at least Dolph Ziggler's show on SmackDown every fucking few times. Yes. Goddamn, Sami Zayn, I haven't seen that motherfucker. The only time I seen him was the referee with Kevin Owens there. Uh, uh he, uh, what, what happens there is. Well, Sami Zayn is underappreciated. It is, you know, Sami Zayn come to the show, but no, we don't want you there, so you just stand back and eat the catering and watch the show. Well, what the fuck? Uh, two more come to mind uh, that, well, three, kind of. Bray Wyatt. Yep, Bray Wyatt. Um, Luke Harper. Yep. And Mickey James. Yep. They, I agree with all that. They also come yeah. to mind. Yeah, Luke wasted. Harper, Bray yeah, Wyatt, wasted. Mickey James. I'm putting Dolph Ziggler in the category. Sami Zayn. No, I'm uh, sorry. There's about five. This right, right here goes to what I figured WWE does. Look, they're going to push you. I want to say push. this right now. I said they're going to let people linger who, who 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 they feel they want to linger. I'm going to say this because I said this right on fucking Raw when we watched it last night because mm -hmm. there was nothing else on, of course. You know, there's nothing on Mondays, and I didn't care about the fucking Monday uh, night football game. Me, uh, I didn't watch it. Uh, uh, there wasn't no, nothing on regular TV, so uh, I watch YouTube. Sorry. Well, I watched it because there's nothing else on. Uh, I was napping. Yeah, he was napping. <laughs> but I made Joey day. laugh his ass off right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I woke up and I seen the match going on. It was Gold Dust versus Finn Balor. Okay? And of course, I didn't give a fuck about this match, to be honest with you. I have no clue why the fuck Gold Dust attacked Finn Balor. <laughs> you know, this There's I, no story behind you know, it. No yeah. story behind it. They're like, let's just put Gold Dust and Pen out there. Let's just throw that together, people. Uh, and Bray White, you know, he comes out. He's got the whole world in his hands and everything. Saying he wants another match with Finn. And I was like, nah, Bray Wyatt should change his fucking thing. To Beck, I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? Because you know, that's all he is. He's a fucking loser nowadays. I've never seen that motherfucker win one match. One match since coming to fucking Raw. 
here's the there you go. here's the thing to me. And Luke Harper, I've seen that motherfucker on SmackDown Live uh, for fucking months. And, and, and I don't, you know, here's the thing. I don't understand. You know, you've got way a hell of a lot of talent that, that you work with. Yeah. And and, and Mickey and James is finally yeah. getting used. And there's, you know, th there's and something last wrong, wrong with, with the promo on uh, Alexa Bliss. That you don't want to use all your talent that you have at your disposal. I would use some motherfuckers any goddamn way that I, that I could to make the show even better. But somehow or another, you don't want to do that. Okay, but I think you're you're, you're wasting you're wasting their, their talent, you're wasting their time. Me, you know. But Jinder it. Mahal gets put. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not gonna use me, then let me go somewhere else where I can make a little bit of dough. I just wrote out my contract. <laughs> I'll come there, eat, and fucking I'll, leave. I'll be doing a JTG. Just collect five hundred dollars. Yep. Uh. The next question is, besides pay-per-views, what other wrestling material do you watch on the WWE Network? Um, well, to be honest, the only thing I watch on WWE Network is the pay-per-views coming. Yeah, mostly it's just the pay-per-views. I don't watch anything else on the network. Fuck that WWE CW garbage. You know. Ah, the WCW fans <laughs> rejoice when WCW Thunder comes yeah, on. Who's gonna watch that? Comes on the network. You know. Fuck Thunder. Th Thunder was the second rated show. Yeah, fuck, I always fell asleep on Thunder. Uh, you know... It's, a, it, it, it's like metal. You know, I did enjoy... Like, I did enjoy some of the original content on on, on the network. You know, like, uh, I did like Legends House. They didn't make another yeah. one. Uh, I did like Swerve. Yeah. Um, you know, some of, the, some of those... You know, are decent. yeah. I enjoyed those. Uh, and I like the table for three. Uh, yeah, table for threes are pretty good if if they have a good you know good yeah. people on it. Uh, but you know, other than that, I mean, there's not really like yeah. you know, like unless you want to watch like older stuff. You yeah. Know? Uh, yeah. You know, and, and some of it's like cartoony, like that story time bullshit. Yeah, I don't want to watch that yeah. bullshit. Uh, uh, that me though, I'm I'm old school. I'll I'll get in there and. And watch the, the the old matches like the NWA matches because that right there is what I grew up watching. Uh, the 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 mid south area that's what I like. Uh, it, it, but basically, the, the size of pay per views and watching the uh, watching the, as they call the old stuff. Uh, that's about all I do with it. Last question, and this one's going to be a little long. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to move it along as fast as possible. But uh, um, if you could create a list of next year's WWE Hall of Fame class of 2018, who would you induct and why? Okay. And uh, I know that we discussed this beforehand, yeah, we and, and and we made a, a list yeah. of seven individuals that we uh, that we feel should go in. Yes. Uh, first one is. Jushin Thunder Liger. Yep. Um, Jushin Thunder Liger, yes, he has wrestled only one time in the WWE when he took on Tyler Breeze at NXT TakeOver. Um, but he is a legend in his own right, right in Japan. Yes. And he came to America, had great matches in WCW with Brian Hill. Yes. You know, those matches were fucking great. Any, that put the light heavyweights yeah. in America on the map. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And he came to NXT, his old ass, and have a great fucking match with his age against Tyler Breeze, who's now a fucking jobber. But but he had a great fucking match with Tyler Breeze on yes. NXT. You know, and he had great matches in Japan. Mm -hmm. So, and he's a veteran. And... And he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. You know, he deserves it. Just He's like, wrestled for what, like thirty or forty yeah, years. Yeah, forty years. Yes. Uh, like so right he thing. deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. If you know, as old as he is, and could still get around as he does. I mean, I mean, he, he, he like you said, you know, he had great matches, you know, in, in WWE, you know, and he, 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 he you know, like you say, he's a legend, and in Japan. Uh, there's there's no reason to me why why you know he should not be inducted. 
Uh, next uh, person is Rick Martell. Yes, the model Rick Martell, former AWA champion. Yes, and and WWE tag but he champion. Won, but he won in the diamond. But still, he was it's, a, it, a counts. it counts. It counts. And he was. A, you might as well add Colonel DeBeers. Yes. yes. <laughs> and he was a former <laughs> WWF tag team champion. Yes. And and Rick Martell was a hell of a talent. Even when he came to WCW in '98, he was in good shape. Mm -hmm. In 1998, and he had great matches with Booker T. Mm -hmm. In '98. Uh, you know, Rick for Martell. the uh, TV title, WCW. I always thought Rick Martell could have been a good Intercontinental yes, Champion. Yes, he could have been a great Intercontinental Champion. His match with Jake Roberts in the blindfold match was great. Uh, Even his SummerSlam 93 was, match with uh, Shawn Michaels was good. The heel versus heel match. I thought, I, I thought you know, with the, to me, with, with Rick Martell, he was a good hand. That's about, you know, that, that's about as far as I could get it. You know, he was a good hand to work. Well, so was Tito, and Tito was Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's just about as far as I thought Martell was with his work. Uh, I, 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 I like the model. I thought I he, did too. I liked the uh, I like the way he what did in the ring. Uh, <clears throat> you know, love the Boston Crab. Uh, was the only person really to use the Boston yeah. Crab at that at that time as a finisher. Uh, he can cut a really good promo. I, I enjoyed the arrogance. Oh yeah. I enjoyed uh, arrogance. Uh, yeah. uh, but that was just me though. I enjoyed uh, Rick Martell. But uh, next one is the Beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow. Yes, Bam Bam Bigelow. He deserves to definitely be in the Hall of Fame. You know, a multiple time WCW Hardcore Champion. You know, and, and he helped make, I'm going to say make, Lawrence Taylor. Single handedly. Single handedly, I might have. Because if it wasn't for Bam Bam Bigelow, that match would have been the shits. But don't get me wrong, WrestleMania 11 was a shits anyway, but... But uh, you could tell Bam Bam Bigelow was the leader of that fucking match. Yes. And Lawrence Taylor was following Bam Bam Bigelow. I give credit to Bam Bam Bigelow for that match. I don't give any credit to Lawrence Taylor. Look, LT. You know, <laughs> fuck, fuck LT and his drug ass. You know. Uh, uh, Bam Bam was always... And he was the... an ECW world champion, ECW television champion. You know, Bam Bam Bigelow was probably a great, he was one of the great big men. Yes. Uh, and did a great moonsault. Uh, uh, yes. gr yeah, uh, the, the, the man was very agile, as big as he was, moonsault. Uh, to me, he could do about anything in that ring he wanted to do, because, because and even as big as he was, he was so damn agile at it. Uh, and unfortunately, Bam Bam Bigelow passed away in 2007. Yes, uh, I heard it was drugs, um, but... Uh, oh my God. Yeah, I probably won't get in. Well, <laughs> well, well, Mr. Perfect got in, and other people did get in, so, you know. Uh, another another person, another big man, uh, is uh, Vader. Yes, big, Vader. Like big, big Van Vader. Vader uh, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he had he great does. matches with Sting in WCW. Ric Flair. Ric Flair, fucking... Oh, those matches were... He had were, good matches yeah. with fucking... We're fucking The Undertaker as well in WWF. To me, him and The Undertaker had a great match. It was the Canadian Stampede. It was for the WWF title. Rare time Vader gets a title shot. Due to Sean. Due to Sean. Fucking Pussy Michaels. Fuck you, Sean. Sean's in the Hall of Fame. So. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> with your fucking googly eyed ass. Uh, Kane. Kane. He had a good match with Kane. Actually, he helped Kane. Because Kane. I think it was the first high profile match it was. besides Mankind. Yes, it was. You know, besides mankind, but that, that Kane uh, was ever in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, leading up because he came in in '97. Oh yeah. That's when he started working with mankind. Then he went to Vader. Yeah. And then boosted it up uh, even more to the point where he was. Uh, but you know, he, he, the, but the real then later was. years, Vader was jobber to the stars, yeah. which was sad. Because mm -hmm. Vader didn't deserve to lose to people I knew he could beat. Come on, Bradshaw. Come on. Yeah. Uh, so when it was Black Jack. Come on. To me, I, I'd, I'd put Vader, we had talked just about, about this before, I'd put Vader in the same category as, as the ones that we talked about that really didn't even need a belt. At least because he, he could go out there and carry it off anyway. Uh, he, he had fans. I like I Vader. 
that they was another one that, that, that they, they could get off that top rope. Uh, I mean, it was still just something else. And uh, I believe that he should go in. And, and I and I and I always love the elephant mask too. Oh, yeah. In, in WCW. When the smoke will come yeah. out. Now this is the thing. I don't know why WWE didn't capitalize. Yeah, on. I didn't either. You know, they only brought innovator. One call the mastodon. Uh, which yeah. is stupid. Yeah. But, but, but on that. And, and then when he's about to be pushed as a WWE champion, Shawn Michaels had to pussy his way out of it. Oh, uh, but now it's such a shitty in. match with Sid. So they have the mask. They brought in that right here stupid mat. That stupid cloth that he wore over his face, which I thought was awful stupid. Next uh, person is a uh, woman, uh, Victoria. Uh, started out as a hoe for the Godfather. Yep. Hey, she got put through a table also. Yeah, she got put through a table. Uh, she says, well, I want to do this. Yeah, she wanted to be a wrestler. This, yep. this is what I want to do. Talk to Jim Ross. Got sent to Ohio Valley Wrestling. Uh, uh, and that's when and we... she. And that's when we first seen her eye to eye. Yeah. And then she came to the WWE and had great matches with Trish Stratus, yep. Lita. You know, Lita and, Tri Lita and Victoria in the uh, steel cage match. Mm -hmm. you know, that exactly. was a great fucking match. That hardcore match in Survivor Series 2002 between her and Trish. That, that was a great fucking match. It was a great fucking match. It, 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 and she was women's champion. So. Yeah. And that right here in you know, it seemed like to me, you know, like, and I liked that right here because, because when they got a women's match on that right here, the steel cage, you know, uh, uh, that right there was, was something else because I, I thought, well, hell, the, the, they're doing away with this prom, bra and panties bullshit. You know, if you got wrestlers out there, let them wrestle. And then, and then she help train the uh, the divas. Mm -hmm. They yeah. do good. The, but the best she, she could. could. Yeah. She did the best she could with what she had. Mm -hmm. okay, if you're in there with Kelly Kelly, you ain't going to have a good match. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know. uh, here's the but thing. she tried the best. If you're in there and the only thing they know is to stand, stand, stand in front of a camera and get pictures taken of them because that's all they are with models. Yeah, I didn't like that era. Uh, you you can only do the best you can I'm be honest, with what I did you not got to work like with. The, the diva era. The model era. I'm sorry. Uh, and then she got she got released from there to be. And then she came TNA. To, went to TNA yep. and did good things to TNA as Tara. Yep. Uh, won the Knockouts title. Exactly. You know, and won the Knockouts tag team title as yes. well. Uh, and now she owns a restaurant in Louisville. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I haven't been there. Want to go there? Oh, I'd love to go there. In other words, she went home. She went. She went home to Louisville. Op opened herself a restaurant. So, and I think so. Victoria, you know, I mean, I, I mean, especially if, if Beth Phoenix can get yeah. in. Victoria you know, should get in. Victoria yeah. should get in, too. I mean, yeah. I, I, I know she might make periodical appearances sometimes, but... Yeah, uh, and speaking of Victoria, check out that match on WR Visits with Victoria. She still can wrestle. Yes, uh, versus Madison Maddie. Miles. Yeah, Madison Miles. Madison Miles. Check that match out. Then we got a tag team going in the hall. Thing. Yes. In Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley Boys. Yes, the Dudley Boys. Uh, one of the most savages tag team in ECW one history. One of the best tag teams <laughs> up there. Actually, I put the World Warriors first for Animal, even though he says the Dudley Boys don't deserve to be, are not one of the greatest tag teams. But who gives a fuck what bloated ass Animal has to say? <laughs> he teamed up with Hyde Rex. So yeah, he teamed with Hyde Rex, for God's sake. Uh,. The Dudley Boys, multiple time ECW champions, won the WCW tag titles, won the WWF tag titles, won the WWE, they won every goddamn tag IWGP. team IWGP? Yeah, IWGP, they won TNA. every every tag team title in existence, Animal, in existence, dumb fuck. How, how in the hell can they wrestle? And so did the Road Warriors, though, I must say. Well, well, how the hell are they going to wrestle in AWA when AWA ain't there no more? You, well, you know, well, he just threw it in, though. You see, well, still, he said. Well, I think Animal did. He just threw it in. Well, still, you know, they said how the they hell are they supposed to wrestle? Have. You know, I'm just saying. Well, they, well, well, they didn't win every title either. Yeah, you know, be realistic. Uh, but the Dudley Boys deserve. I think they did. They won every title. The Dudley Boys deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. They're the greatest tag team of this era. Mm -hmm. No, of this era. Mm -hmm. They're the greatest tag team of this era. Yes. The Road Warriors are the greatest tag team in the old era. Mm -hmm. No, this is the new era. So the Dudley Boys are the greatest tag team of modern past. See, what you two are fighting about is some bullshit, okay? You can't, you can't, you can't fucking say that 
you know, the Road Warriors and the Dudleys won, you know, tag team battles and all this shit. Different eras. Totally different. The Road eras. Warriors was in the te- was in the territory days, and the Dudleys the are, are in modern the wrestling. Modern era. It's a totally different fucking thing. Yeah. You know, uh, if if the Dudleys were in fucking their day, they would have they would have won the AWA tag team. Yes. Yeah. They would have won all these it, titles. If the Road Warriors was wrestling where the Deadly Boys was they wrestling, won they would have won all those fucking titles. They would have won the ECW titles. Yes. They would have won all them fucking titles. It's just a different era with different fucking performers. Yes. And uh, the Dudleys uh, are one of the best tag teams in the world. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and not only that, but they also give. And back. they have good singles careers. Now look at Bully Ray. I wouldn't He's say Devon did. Well, <laughs> well Devon's an agent now. You know that's impressive. Well, he didn't have no singles career. <laughs> well, he had Reverend Devon. Okay, give him some props. He, if, I ain't what, giving him props. Well, if that. it wasn't for Reverend Devon, Batista wouldn't have had a job. Oh, oh, oh! You mean child molester Batista, like they were going to make? Yeah, <laughs> he wouldn't have had a job. No, really, anyway, he wouldn't have had a job. Now we talk. Anyway. And look at Bully right now at Ring of Honor, doing great things. Not only that, but uh, uh, 3D Academy. Yeah, and Fucking, they have their own wrestling school. You know, They're uh, doing great. Trying to get people to live out their dreams. Yep. So, uh, Dudley Boys, I, I think, deserve to go in. I don't know about you, but I oh, you I, I deserve it. I, mean, I, think, I think they deserve to go in. But, you know, it's an epic thing. It's an epic thing. It's an epic thing. What fucking tag team do you think goes in? Well, it could be an old tag team nobody ever heard of. I don't, yeah. I don't want the monkeys in there. And then the main event of. Well, I, think uh, they, uh, uh, I think I think I think they should go in. Well, anybody else is in there. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck the weak ass monkeys. Uh, the main event for Hall of Fame 2018, The Undertaker. Oh, The Undertaker. Yes. Four-time, five-time WWE champion. Well, would it be any question? I mean, everybody. He has his own wing in the Hall of Fame. He's done everything. That, uh, that, 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 is, that is not even a question. Thirty years. Thirty years in, in destruction. In WWE. Alone. Thirty years. He had a job for WWE for thirty fucking years. He started in Survivor Series 1990 as part of the Million Dollar Team. And destroy Dusty's team. Destroyed Hulk Hogan. Destroyed Hulk Hogan in a year. And that led on to immortality. Then he had a he he still has an incredible WrestleMania streak, even though those two mediocre losses. Out uh, three probably. I don't fucking know. Two. Uh, two. Uh, out of the two shittiest people, Brock Lesnar and Roman dick sucking Reigns. Undertaker. Uh, the greatest WWE he is, character. He's the greatest, of all time. De- and he's a locker room leader. And he deserves time off, unlike fucking Brock Lesnar, who don't love the wrestling business. Do you have any objections to Undertaker? Do you have any objections for the uh, Undertaker? Just one. Uh, you know, we all know the Undertaker, you know, but, it, 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 but, but here's what I like about the Undertaker he refreshes himself. He's not, he, like, not, not like these motherfuckers who do the things for years and years. He and changes years. his gimmick. Hey, and here's another thing about, about the Undertaker. Uh, the Undertaker was not going to lose unless he wanted to lose. Those two matches, he lost because he wanted to, because he thought that right there was put better for business to push the talent. What talent you got? And if you guys agree, let us know in the comments below. Or if you disagree, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at WrestleRampage. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, WrestleRampage. Tommy, take it away. And don't forget our P.O. Box, Joseph Flats. All right. Uh, s- s- uh, fuck.